Alright, hey you guys, it's uh, 9.40 p.m., let's do some more of this thing. So, uh, this one's gonna be pretty boring, it's just gonna be exploring Duford to see if I get anything, and then probably going to grind, so... Okay, does he give me something? Nope. Okay, so basically what happens is, um, I could either go nor- ooh, Silk Scarf. This is a hold item, it increases normal type moves. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Do I still have Pokemon that have normal type moves? I have I have one Pokemon that has normal type moves, and that is Ginkgo. What's Ginkgo's item currently? Ginkgo's item is currently Quick Claw, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I will give the Quick Claw to Phantasm, so that Phantasm can go first every once in a while, even though Phantasm's already pretty fast. Yeah, you don't get a whole lot of items in the early game, so there's not really a whole lot of choice here. So I'll give a Ginkgo Silk Scarf. Um, okay, let's see what, let's see what Phantasm's speed is anyway. Uh, your speed is 21, 28. Yeah, Phantasm's never gonna be going second anyways, but just in case there was ever going to arise a situation in which Phantasm might go second, I might as well have him hold Quick Claw, because Silk Scarf is the superior item, because as you can see, all of Ginkgo's moves are normal type. And it's good to have extra damage, no matter how small that extra damage might be, over something as gimmicky and luck-based as a Silk Scarf, which can sort of screw you over pretty hard in a Nuzlocke. So, basically, you can go north from here, and you'll reach the place where there's a package that I'm supposed to be delivering, but there are also trainers along the way, and once I start going north, I won't be able to turn back. And as you can see, my Pokemon are pretty beaten up, so what I'm probably going to do is uh, burn the rest of Mikalei's power points, train to maybe a level or two. Yeah, I know, pretty big disparity, 18 versus 12 versus 11, but I'm not sure there's a whole lot I can do about that. And then once that's done, I'll go north. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this is weird. This is like, why well, it has to be approved adventure. This is something weird. This is a... Uh, it's hip and trendy. This house has, has some obsession with some various phrase, and the phrase kind of changes every once in a while, and I think something happens based on the phrase, but I don't actually remember what the phrase determines or what different phrases mean, other than the fact that uh, sometimes you can make them say amusing things. Hold on. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like Pokemon. But, <laughs> um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not actually a whole lot going on here, but I'll just go through the dialogue in case you guys are interested at all. So, uh, I'm sure you get something else here. I think you get something else here. In this town, that is. You don't get anything else in this house. What does he do? I like what's hip happening and trendy. Um, yeah, because since I come across the sea, uh, he thinks... Oh, boy. No, I have to show, I have to show you guys what you, what you can do with this phrase, because... I know you guys are really into all the little details because you're watching the optional one. So you can convince them that something else is actually hip and happening, and you can make them say something amusing. Let's see. I can't actually think of anything amusing, so I'm just going to put together random words. Absolutely. I choose you. Okay. So you can, you can, just, you can just make them say something random. And they'll just immediately assume it's hip and happening or whatever. And then if you go back, if you go back inside of here, you'll discover that everyone has changed their dialogue to suit what you told them. And there's something that you can do with this. And I don't actually remember what it is because I don't think I really read very many of the strategy guides when I was a kid. And I just sort of ignored this part. Something gets trendy. Everyone picks up on it right away. We've seen this. Renowned fishing spot. This is important. This guy gives you a fishing rod. It's the old rod. It can catch only Magikarps. But... It can still catch Magikarps. And sometimes it's a good idea to catch Magikarps. So... This is how it's going to go with fishing. So... There are different routes on which you can fish. You can fish on any route. I could fish here in Duford Town. However, I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is I'm only going to allow myself to catch one water type... I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to the rule, basically, of one Pokemon per route. Now, if you want that Pokemon to be obtained by fishing, then you can do that. But if you fish for a Pokemon, then you can't catch another Pokemon on that route. Whether it be through surfing, or whether it be through, uh... I don't know, whether it be through surfing, whether it be through walking in the grass, whether it be through whatever method by which you could have otherwise caught a Pokemon, if you fish, then you can no longer do that. But you can fish, and I'll probably eventually fish, because you can get a lot of good Pokemon by fishing. You have your Sharpedo and your Whalmer, but we'll get to that later. 
those are the cool Pokemon. Some of the really cool Pokemon are the water types in this game. Some of the ones that you can find um, in, the, in the later segments of the game. There's something here. Is there an item? No, I'm just wrong. That's on the other side. Uh, nothing over there. Nothing here. There's a gym there. It's fighting type. We'll get to it later. I think that's all the houses. I think that's all the houses. Yep. Okay. Leader Brawly. A big wave in fighting. Whatever that means. Okay, having done that, I'm going to go back to grind a little bit, because I know you all love grinding, and I know that's the most interesting thing. So yeah, basically I came up here to get really nothing of interest, but you guys get to hear the cool music again, so it's not all a waste. Note how Route 105 here is distinct from the Route 104 that's up here. So that means I will be able to catch a Pokemon down in Route 105, and since there's no grass there, that Pokemon will be either caught by fishing or it will be caught by, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, surfing and, uh, catching Pokemon while you're on the water. Because while you're on the water, the way you travel on the water is via this HM move called Surf. Uh, you guys remember HM moves like Cut, I already showed you one, so I don't actually have to explain that yet, but... TM that doesn't go away, and it has some sort of outside of battle effect, and the one for Surf, which is this really powerful water-type move, is... Oh, here's a Slackoth. I talked about the Slackoth in the Makuhita trade back in Petalburg City, but you never actually saw a Slackoth. This is what they look like. You'll get to learn more about them a couple of gyms down the road, because their evolutionary family sort of has some pretty nasty members later down the road. Like, once he evolved... Like, they're not very threatening now and can be disposed by an easy double kick, but eventually, uh, what Slackoth eventually turns into is going to become a lot more troublesome, and I don't really know how to deal with it, although... Hopefully Phantasm will help, but again, we'll get to that later. That's a while down the road from now. So, oh, what was I even talking about? I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so that's right, Surf. So, when you're riding on the water, you can sometimes occasionally encounter a Pokemon. So, if I'm going to want to catch a Pokemon on that route that is not found by Surfing, that is found by Fishing instead, I pretty much have to fish immediately upon getting into the route, otherwise I'm going to run into something and break my chance. So, usually when you surf, the only Pokemon you can run into are Wingull, its evolved form, or this Pokemon called Tentacle from the first generation, which most of you probably know about, but we'll, we'll, we'll see the first Tentacle of the game pretty soon anyways. Level 19, that's good, although I get nothing of interest. So yeah, I'm just going to sort of wander around now and see what I find, see if there's anything here that I want to um, battle over and over again. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure what I should talk about now. Um, I haven't really talked about very much lately to people in general. I'm sort of in the throes of college applications, but I guess that's life. Always something you're supposed to be doing, and you're doing something else other than doing it. But let's see, is there going to be other Pokemon here? I'm a little bit concerned about the disparity between uh, Mikulay's levels and the other levels, especially because Mikulay has so many more offensive power points to burn than the others do. But... I figure it'll resolve itself with time. Is Pekka one hit KO? Good, Pekka's a one hit KO, so... Yeah, I can just burn a lot of power points here and probably gain a level or two. I'm gonna need everything I can get going into the later stages of the game, once the Pokemon get harder and start to pose a real threat to my well-being. I really feel guilty about training this one Pokemon at the expense of all the others. I might actually get his hit points down a little bit by doing the switching in and out thing, but I don't really want to risk any disasters. I'll burn through the pecs first and then worry about things like that. Yeah, I'm sorry this episode's going to take a long time and you're prob and probably nothing interesting is going to happen, but I sort of feel like everything should be exhaustively documented for the sake of... I, gu I guess just for the sake of making a point for if anyone decides that they want to challenge me on whether or not I fully fulfilled my rules, I guess? And, I mean, just because I figure if I'm going to do it, I might as well attempt to talk while I'm doing it and see if I can document it in a decent way. See, there are a lot of Pokemon here that I wish I could catch. I wish I had this Talo right now. Talo is a fantastic Pokemon. It's Flying-type, as you can see, and it learns a lot of really strong Flying-type moves by or immediately before the second gym, which, as, you've, as you know, is Fighting-type. And since you've never seen any Flying-type moves in the game yet, besides Peck, and I don't think I've used it on a Fighting-type, but... Flying types sort of tear through fighting types. Super effective and also just very strong in general. Because with same type, same type attack bonus, if you get an early move like wing attack, 
which starts out with 60 base power, plus 30 is 90, plus super effective is 180, which again is good. It's as strong as double kick, if double kick hits twice, and it's just one move. And it has a lot of power points, and it can just destroy things. But that only works... Yeah, that, that, that only works if you can catch a Talo, which I can't, because the Nuzlocke rules. Also, Wismer. Did I kill my Wismer? I don't remember catching one. I must have killed it. Hi. <laughs> that was a while ago. I haven't actually played this in sort of a long time. There's sort of a long gap between when I recorded the previous episode and when I'm currently recording this episode. I rather got caught up in uh, schoolwork and things like that. But such is life. Anyway, Mikulay is gaining experience quicker than I thought she would. Oh, this disparity thing could become problematic. If Mika gets to, like, 21... Yeah, that's gonna be way too high for anyone to catch up. A decision will have to be made. I don't want this to turn into just Mikulay's party time, because I think that's sort of a boring way to play the game, and I think it might also reveal something fundamentally unsound about my rules that it turns into Mikulay's party time. But I'll deal with that issue when, it come, when I come to it. And I mean, to think, if I kept Scratch, it would be even worse. Mikulay would just need to train, would need to grind every time. What I might do is eventually put a moratorium on Mikulay's grinding, just because it bores me and I think it's somehow unfair. Or maybe just on all grinding in general, but that would sort of keep me from having any chance. Yeah, something tells me some sort of rule will need to be changed to prevent this. I don't know, this do this doesn't feel wholly, wholly legitimate to me. I don't really know what I'm going to do about it, but something's going to have to be done. Because it only makes sense to burn through all the power points that you can before you go into heal and all of those power points are wasted. And I mean, if you can do that on really weak Pokemon and you can get a lot of experience from it, it absolutely makes sense to do. I just feel like it's not really the correct path, you know? To just train one Pokemon really exclusively at the expense of all the others and sweep through the gyms. I did that once upon a time when I first started playing Pokemon, but I've tried since then to avoid it for the most part. Let's see, if I get about 60 per Pokemon, how much will it take to hit 21, and how many levels could I gain by this tactic? 978, and I have 30 power points plus 60s. Two more. A decision will have to be made. I think I'm going to make the decision of this is somehow illegitimate, and I don't know if there's a real hard and fast rule for this being somehow illegitimate, or if I have any grounds for saying that I think it feels somehow illegitimate, but it does, because Mikulay is just going to keep growing and growing, and even though um, it sort of makes sense that I would want that for for later on, I'm going to have plenty of chances for Mikule to get experience in the next couple of bits, and very few chances for anyone else to get experience, so... Wait, I think I actually have the uh, Petalburg Pokemon Center open, don't I? I do think I have the Petalburg Pokemon Center open. I don't think I actually used it. If I did, feel free to correct me, but I don't think that I actually used it. <sighs> Oh, this episode is such flyover territory. I'm sorry, you guys. Something interesting will be happening soon. Moral dilemmas don't not not counting as interesting after all. Um... Okay, so before I realize what a stupid idea this is and change my mind, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. I mean, my ban from this point forward should be on all of grinding, just to see if it makes the experiment any more successful or any more difficult or something like that. But I just heal now. The fact that I've healed cannot be undone. And I'm going to go ahead and surf back out to Duford and start up the next thing. Do the next, uh, whatever the next thing is.
which I think is going through to find Steven and deliver him his letter, but I'm not positive. Something like that. And awesome music that I won't talk over this time, I promise. Won't subject you to more of my voice. Alright, let's go. Party as it stands. Uh, we have Mikula level. Wait. No, this should be for the next episode. That's right. Alright, see you guys later. And by later, I mean about five minutes. Thank you all for watching. I will see you next time.